Hello and thank you for joining me. On today's video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to make your very own boot covers to personalize your boots. We're going to start off by using two sheets of felt. I got all of my supplies at my local Joann's. You can also go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby. We'll need some crocheted ribbon, that's a must. And then I've also got some burlap ribbon, that's optional. You can buy whatever other accent ribbons you'd like for your boot covers. We need our handy dandy needles and threads and make sure that your thread matches the color of your felt. It's very important. We'll also use some stretchy cording. We'll need scissors, a hot glue gun, and plenty of hot glue sticks. So we'll start off by folding the sheet the long way and then we're going to fasten each end by sewing it shut. I used the quilting method for that. Then we'll lay the folded sheet down we'll pick whatever ribbon you like most and just measure and cut we'll lay it across and glue it down this is going to help keep us centered while decorating our boot covers I found an old belt lying around and I thought it'd make a neat little accessory to my boot cover so I clipped one end off and now I am fastening the end with my needle and thread so that it doesn't unbraid. I measure the belt across my boot cover and cut the excess and repeat the same fastening process. I glue the belt down. Once the glue dried though, I did come back with my needle and thread and just went in and out of the braid just to fasten it a little more securely. With that belt, I got inspired to look around for some other stuff that I'm no longer using. And in my jewelry box, I found some old necklaces. The links were small enough that my scissors could clipped them and that's exactly what I did. I fastened each end onto the boot cover and I just uh, used my needle uh, and thread going in and out of each link until it was on nice and tight. It didn't take much or long for me to realize that the chain was too long. So here I am fastening the extra chain onto the boot cover. The problem was that the pendant was just swinging from side to side. I wanted the pendant to hang down in the middle. So here I'm just kind of manipulating the room and space that it has to move around in by fastening the extra chain onto the boot cover. You'll see me pick up the boot cover from time to time just to see how much more of the chain I need to sew down. Just as an extra step, I used my already hot hot glue gun and I glued the ends down into the felt. Finally, we get to use the crocheted ribbon. Measure how much you're going to need, cut it out, and then lay the hot glue over the felt. Gently place the crocheted ribbon over the glue. Be very careful. You can and probably will get it on your fingers. It is very hot.
I found this really cool pendant at my local Joann's. I don't want the charm from the necklace to hover over it, so I'm going to fasten it at the bottom part of the belt so that they're both hanging down but not hovering over each other. One of my favorite accessories, I found some feather trimming. I wanted to just kind of peek through, so I am gluing it on the back and I ripped a few feathers out. I'll be using those to decorate on the sides. Again, gluing it on the back end. Now to cover all the loose ends, I've got some more burlap ribbon. Measure and glue down the sides. So it's all right if one of your ribbons is a little too short. This is going to cover all the imperfections right up. Ribbon on ribbon on ribbon. I've cut some of the stretchy cording. This is what we're gonna use to tie your finished boot cover around the boot. So be very mindful of that with the length that you use. We're almost done, but not before torturing our thumbs and index fingers one last time. We're gonna sew each string on the ends of the almost finished boot cover. And this is the final product. I'm in love with them. I made a few other pairs with different styles. Let me know which one of the three you like the best. And please share. Maybe this can inspire one of your friends or even yourself to try something different. Make sure to like and subscribe.